is uh, Dr. Rajesh Arkiddi from WIT Sholapur. Today we'll see type of the function which is uh, from discrete mathematical structures. Basically, there are four types of functions: one on two, into one to one, and one to one on two. In this video, we'll try to focus on one to one on two function. What is one to one on two function? What are the examples of this particular function? The learning outcome: student will be able to identify or distinguish the type of the function. He will be able to distinguish among the four types of function, whether it is on to, into, one to one, or it is one to one on to. The content of this particular uh, video will just review uh, what are the types of function, then uh, one to one on to function definition, and uh, we'll see the examples which are based on one to one on to functions. As I told you, there are four types of function on to that is also called as surjective into one to one on to injective and one to one on to bijective. Now, just uh, take a, a review what is a one to one function? It is defined a mapping of set x to set y from set x to set y, which is say defined with f is called as a one to one or injective function if distinct element of x set x are mapped to distinct element of set y then it is called as a one to one function now let us go to the next slide to define what is one to one onto a mapping from set x to set y which is uh, defined or which is uh, denoted as say f and it is called as as one to one on to or it is also called as a bijective function okay if it is both one to one and on to function means in one to one or on in one to one on to or bijective function it should not have one to one into it should contain both one to one as well as on to and uh, to be bijective when x and y are finite uh, requests that the number of elements in x be the same as the number of elements in y means that here we must think or we must see that the number of elements in set x and set y should be same then only it is possible that it, it, it can have bijective function or it, it can, can we can have one to one onto function let us go to the next slide to see some examples now, the, this is the first example uh, where set x is equal to the elements here are mentioned x1, x2 and x3 and um, set y that is equal to say y1, y2 and y3. Three elements in set y and three elements in set x. Now, function f it is defined from set x to set y is like this. x1 is mapped to y1 and y x2 is mapped to y3 and x3 is mapped to y3, y2. So, same thing is uh, denoted uh, or uh, reflected in this particular uh, mapping x1 is mapped to y1 x2 is mapped to y3 and x3 is mapped to y2 now first of all whether it is valid function or not yes let us see first first condition is that uh, domain of the function should be equal to set x means whether the all the elements of set x are involved in the mapping Yes, x1 is involved, x2 is involved, and x3 is also involved. There is no question about uh, constraint 1. And uh, second condition, second condition, whether uniqueness of uh, mapping is there or not. Means every x should have unique value of y. They should, there should not be uh, two values for one particular x, value of x. Means x should, x1 should be mapped to only one element of y. It should not be mapped again second element of y or more than one element of y that is their uniqueness is also maintained means it's a valid function now how to identify or how to distinguish or what is the type of this particular fun function now uh, range of the function is equal to if you look at the mapping 
means that what we see y1, y2 and y3 means all the elements of set y are involved in the mapping means that range of the function is equal to uh, set y is equal to set y that is okay means for onto function it is onto function first of all it is onto function now whether it is a into function no it is not into function it is not uh, range of the function is not equal to subset of y it is equal to set y that is why it is a onto function and uh, what about the one to one function? Yes, distinct element of x, whether they are mapped to distinct element of set y. Yes, that is also there. Means it is one to one function is there. It is one to one function is there. Means every element of x is distinctly mapped to element of y. Means we do not see, we do not see over here x1 is mapped to y1 and x2 is also mapped to y1 x1 is having value different value of y and x2 is having different value and x3 is also mapped to different element of y. So, that condition is also satisfying that is distinct element of set x are mapped to distinct element of set y. So, range of the function is equal to set y okay, and uh, Domain, of, uh, domain, domain is also equal to set x, domain is equal to set x and distinct element of set R x are mapped to distinct element of set y, that is ok. Now, let us go to the next slide, here distinct elements of set x are mapped to distinct element of set y and range of the function is equal to set y means that it is one to one and as well as on to ok that is why it is called as a one to one on to or it is also called as a positive function if it would have been into function then it could have been only one to one it cannot be called as a on to function now let us focus on to the uh, go to the uh, next slide for example number two here set x is equal to the elements are a, b, c and set y are 0, 1, 2. Okay. Now, the function uh, is uh, known as g from set x to set y, how the mappings are a 0, b 0, c 2. Okay. It is uh, a to 0, b to 1 and c to 2. Now, whether it is a valid function or not, well again the same condition that is uh, domain of the function should be equal to set x means all the elements of set x are involved in the mapping yes a b and c all the elements of set x are involved in the mapping whether uniqueness of uh, value y is maintained yes it is also maintained because uh, if g of x g of x that is uh, should be equal to only one value of y okay a is mapped to 0 only it is then b is also mapped to 1 so nowhere we see a is mapped to 0 and a is mapped to 1 or b is mapped to 1 and it is also mapped to another value of y. So, every x has the unique value of y. So, that is why it is a valid function, that is why it is a valid function. Now, apart from that, what is the type of the function? What is the type of the function? Okay, now, to identify the type of the function, first of all, we see, see that the range of the function, range of the function, is it equal to, is it equal to set y? Yes, let us see 0, 1, 2, these are the three elements of set y, all are involved in the mapping, means it is equal to set y, it is not subset of y, means it definitely it is not a into function, it is a onto function, it is a onto function. Now, second condition, whether it is 1 to 1, let us see the condition distinct element of set x should be mapped to distinct element of set y, means a is mapped to 0 and b is mapped to another value of y, it is not again mapped to 0. Okay, means uh, the values of x are not mapped to only one element of y or only two elements of y. They are distributed. Okay, if suppose, uh, means one more condition we need to check is that whether the elements of x and set y are equal. Yes, they are equal they are equal this means that and the mapping how is the mapping that we have to see means distinct elements of x are mapped to distinct elements of set y means mapping is also correct no problem about that 
now let us go to the next slide now here take a pause okay read the example okay read the example and uh, see that see that uh, whether well this is a the this is explanation of the previous slide that is distinct element of x are mapped to distinct element of set y and the range of the function is equal to 0 1 2 which is equal to set y now here take a minute okay take a pause and uh, try to identify the type of mapping the example is set x is equal to 1 5 p jack and 2 is y is equal to these are the elements 2 7 q is jill and mapping f is equal to 1 2 5 7 p q and jack and jill and this is this is the mapping now what is your answer answer is this is a one to one on to function because a distinct element of set x are mapped to a distinct element of set y and the function range of the function is also equal to set y I hope uh, you have understood what is bijective function or uh, one to one on to function these are the references we will see in the next video we will meet once again in the next video thank you very much thank you